Somewhere in Kabul, hidden away from the busy streets of the city, are service members receiving final preparations for what may be one of the most unique assignments of their professional military careers. Their specific mission is going to be in direct support of our village stability operations mission, our bottom-up coin mission that we do that has been directed by Com ISAF and the government of Afghanistan. That focuses on three areas, security, governance, and development. This group of Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines, along with DOD civilians, has gathered here after months of language and tactical training to serve as Afghan hands. Through cultural understanding, Afghan hands help bridge the language and cultural gaps between coalition forces and Afghans. Army Major Richard Lake is an Afghan hand, and he's one of many who will pass their experiences on to the new group during this week-long transition course. For cultural and security reasons, he's authorized relaxed grooming standards. And part of what he explains to the class is that Afghan hands must have an open mind when considering cultural differences. What may seem wrong to us may not be wrong to Afghans. It might actually be right to do it that way here in Afghanistan. They serve throughout the country and offer unique capabilities to various commands. They can reach out to that commander and say, sir, this is what the atmospherics are in this battle space. This is how we can leverage the good people to reduce the space for bad actors to operate. These are people who have volunteered to come out here to serve their country, to help us, to help our country achieve its, its broader, its, its bigger goals in this country. And it's not an easy job that they have. I've been out to these places where they'll be staying and where we have other personnel staying. And it, it's not easy, but what they're doing is terribly important. I think it's important for service members and, and others to understand that we are achieving our goals. We are helping this government and this country move forward. And we're putting them in a position so that they can determine their own future. And I think that people need to be proud of the work they're doing here. Throughout their four-year commitment serving as Afghan hands, they'll work directly with Afghans and coalition forces during year-long deployments. They'll provide a much-needed bridge between countries that share a common goal to help Afghans govern themselves with the hope of a prosperous future. Marine Staff Sergeant Jason Price, Kabul, Afghanistan.